Let's try the game Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order here on Steam Deck with Ultra Settings set for the graphics. Um, at this moment, as you see here, we have a stable 30 frames and I hope we will maintain this uh, during the gameplay. I have here related to settings something like this. The game is... Um, it's basically set to have 30 frames no dynamic uh, resolution at this moment and i have the distance set to high settings shadow also and anti-aliasing on high settings the texture quality i keep it with epic settings the maximum also the visual effects post-processing they are on epic settings and let's go and uh, let's see how the game uh, looks. As you see, you get uh, one and a half hours, maybe two hours with this. I hope the integer mode is the best to go because this will offer the best graphic. Seer mentioned. Whoever I'm supposed to find must be waiting there. You know, to play a game like, like this one here on Steam Deck, this is marvelous, at least from my perspective. Not to mention that we have the best graphic and um, We have the best graphic here and to experience something li like this on a portable device, this is truly amazing. Any ideas? <laughs> Gotta get across this gap somehow. A zip line? <laughs> Whoa! How'd you know that would work? <laughs> Wait, didn't you didn't? Let's set it here to linear and let's see if we have some, something different. Can't open it. Careful over there. That doesn't look safe. Just like back at the scrapyard. Almost 
table. Hey, that was pretty brave. Probably okay? if we if we lower Wait, down some uh, I can help you with that. processing me... settings, it will be 100% oh, okay. of time here with 30 frames. And we will keep in the same time maximum uh, graphics, well, uh, maximum texture. Is busted, basically. But this should help you get moving for now. But I will leave it okay. for the moment in this way because it seems 99% of time it will run very, very constant with 30 frames. The vault. Yeah, that's where I was headed too. Okay. Well, first we gotta figure out a way out of this place. Uh, BD, that's a little small for me. Don't worry. I'll find my own way out. Tight fit, but this should work. I can't make it over there. We gotta find another way.
Where are you going? Something we can use? The tool was used by someone eager to reach the vault. job.
something in there? Yes, the path is difficult. It may seem impossible, but with persistence and the Force as your ally, you will overcome any obstacle. You will master any path. Now, do what you must to reach me. Yes, Master. Focus. Faster. More intensity. Now, reach my position. Again. Clumsy. Shortcut again? Back here. What's that mean, one? See there? Oh, it's on. We're not finished yet. 
Okay, okay, you probably would have won. Probably. You all right, BD? Well done, whoever you are. You have passed the test I left behind and gained access to the vault and this recording, one of many encrypted logs stored in the droid. I am Master Ino Cordova. I may not know your name, but I know your purpose. The fate of the Jedi Order lies in your hands. This place, this vault is a sacred temple built by a vanished civilization known as the Zephyr. Meditating here, I was granted a premonition through the force, a vision of doom. I have placed inside this vault a Jedi holocron containing a list of the names and locations of young force sensitives throughout the galaxy. Ahead, you will find the inner chamber of the vault, but also another test. I can only trust this holocron to someone who has followed my path and understands. Seek out the hidden tombs of the three sages and learn to perceive the mysteries of the Force as the Zephyr once did. In this droid, you will find everything you need to succeed on this journey. Go to the Zephyr homeworld. There, you will find peace in the eye of the storm. <laughs>